Hey guys, what is going on? It is Josh Norton 22 and as you can see right here on my screen, we have a flashback pack. So we're going to go ahead and uh, open this here in a couple minutes. And you know, uh, I don't know what I'll get out of here. Hopefully something good. If I don't get anything good, probably my last flashback pack for a long time because, uh, you know, I, I was talking yesterday about pack odds and everything and like, we all know pack odds are terrible. Uh, I don't have to sit here and say it every video. You can just watch the pack openings and tell that pack cards aren't what they used to be in past Madden. So you know, hopefully they fix that in the future. But I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna sit here and cry about it or anything. I'm just the best way to do it is is just not open packs. You know, that's probably the best way to do it. If you if pack cards are so bad, then just don't open packs. And you know, eventually Madden will be like, wow, no one's opening up packs, and they're gonna be like, well, let's go ahead and increase the odds since that's what the community wants. And then, you know, hopefully that works. Uh, but then you got people who pull packs like non-stop. So, I don't know. As long as those people are pulling packs, you'll probably never see much change anything. So, you know, here we go. We're going to go ahead and open this. See what we get. Hopefully we get a really good card so I can get a great freak out. If it's an Alex Smith, I'm not going to freak out at all or do anything. I'm just going to say, wow. And I'm going to just put it up on the auction block. So, <clears throat> it took me like 200k to get these elite badges. So hopefully that pack, uh, that pays off right here. Let's go ahead and open it. Let's do this. And we get a Percy Harvin. I don't know whether to freak out or not. Um, I know to go look for the auction block real quick. I have not. I didn't even know that was a flashback card. Um, it looks like a good flashback card. I would I would have liked it to be like a Champ Bailey or something. Uh, well, there was a snipe on a Dustin Hopkins I just missed for 400 coins. Um, I have one up right for like 3k right now. That's why I had him up on my screen. So we're gonna go ahead and search up Harvin. Let's see, bam. That does seem hop is a little bit rare. So if you do pull it, go ahead and uh, and sell it for like 3k. So there it is for 400k. So wow, I didn't know it was going for that much. Uh, you know, there's a lot of great receivers in the game. And I did not know it would be going for that much. We are definitely gonna have to sell this, guys. I wish I would have, I wish I would have did a little bit of a freak out for it now. But uh, the only ones I knew that were going for that much were like Flashback Champ Bailey and uh, like Rod Woodson, or I think maybe it was Woodson, but Flashback Ed Reed and stuff like that. But this Percy Harvin, that's a pretty good pool. I'm gonna go ahead and throw this up for like 420. See if that sells. That will definitely pay for my elite badges. That was actually a really good pool. Um, I was not expecting that. Um, but guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Like I said, I'm not, I'm not big on really crying about pack odds, or, I, I like talk about the pack odds, but I ain't gonna really like cry about it, or do anything like that, but, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the, uh, enjoyed the video. I'm actually, I do, I do still have my mind green, if y'all are wondering where my halfback is blank right there, uh, I'm just letting someone borrow it right now, they're gonna give it back to me here in a couple minutes, but, uh, some new stuff I added to my team was that 92 Julio Jones, you can see him right there, and that 92 Demarius Thomas. I'll go ahead and uh, show you guys a little bit of my team right here that I added that's new. Um, I have this Emmanuel Sanders in the slot, I believe that's new. Uh, basically the same offensive line. I might have made a couple upgrades, like I think I put that Luis Vasquez there, maybe that Nick Mangold, maybe that Trent Williams is an upgrade too from my last uh, lineup update. Still basically the same fullback and quarterback though, and my, my halfback is a Mon Green, I just, I'm not using him right now, I'm letting uh, someone borrow him. And then over on the defense, the only thing we really added was Desmond Trufant, um, Terrell Suggs, and Lance Briggs. This Lance Briggs, if you do not have him, I would suggest getting him, look at this, 93 speed guys, with really good strength, you usually don't see that in really fast players. Um, so definitely I would suggest picking him up but guys I hope you enjoyed the video showed you a little bit of my team there you know I got an epic flashback pack definitely gonna pay for my elite badges I bought and uh, if you are kind of on the edge of getting a flashback pack I would suggest doing it now because the elite badges are not going for a lot I bought most of mine for like 45 50k and went ahead and did that flashback pack so I would suggest going ahead and trying to do it right now um, Especially since those game changer bundles were just in the game try to get some snipes on the elite badges Definitely a great way to make coins guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you liked the pool It was actually a really good pool. I didn't get a freak out for it because I didn't know it was going for that much but guys <clears throat> Hit the annotation below if you're new to the channel um, that will take you straight to my subscribe button Don't forget to like the video. You can follow me on Twitter link is in the description below. I hope you guys enjoyed the video 
And until the next video, peace.